today's video, I'm going to be breaking down one of the simplest defenses in Madden. This defense is effective because of its ability to get quick pressure, have good alignment, and be able to adjust to whatever your opponent wants to do. We have a full defensive ebook on this formation in our school.com website. If you guys want to get access to that site where it has access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks, you can become a member by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below for just $10 a month. Now, we're going to be talking today about the nickel 3-3 formation in the Kansas City Chiefs defensive playbook. It's also in the 46 playbook, as well as the multiple D. For your coaching adjustments, you just want to make sure that your auto flip is going to be turned off. And your zone coverage, whenever you're running this defense, oftentimes it's best to run this with match on. And if you're going to run match on, then you need to either be in man align or default alignment. From there, we're going to be in nickel blitz zero, and we're going to actually flip this defense. Now, the setup for this is you're going to shift your linebackers to the left-hand side. You're going to press your coverage. You're going to pinch your D-line. And then you have a couple different variations of wings that you can do. The cool part about this is this provides the full blitzing suite that we want to be able to have access to in all of our schemes. So if we wanted to send three, we would just go ahead and crash this defensive line down just like this. And then from there, we could, we could craft, you know, kind of whatever coverage that we want to. Uh, for example, maybe you want to do something like what you see here on your screen. If I can show you the actual play art that I'm running, we would maybe do something like this. And then we would maybe cross man the tight end. But essentially, this is a shed defense, and it's going to play pretty well, cover a lot of different things. And you're going to be able to get nice sheds whenever you have that pinch defensive line and that crash defensive line inside. From there, we're going to show you kind of a four-man pressure variation, which I really like against Bunch. What we're going to do here is we are going to purple this linebacker on the left. Outside third, the solo wide receiver side corner. We're going to middle third, the safety on the left. We're going to deep half the safety on the right. We're going to cloud flat this outside corner. And then we're going to man up the slot receiver. And I like to shade the slot receiver to the right. And I love to shade my coverage underneath and then basically have my zones in behind that re-clouded and re-curl flatted. What this is going to do is it has potential to sometimes come in against this. Sometimes it does come in. It doesn't always. But it's a four-man rush that has potential to come in as well as has really good coverage in behind it. Now, for our five-man pressure variation of this, you're going to pinch your defensive line, press your coverage, globally blitz all of your linebackers. And then what we're going to be able to do from this is now we're going to craft another coverage. And this is one of my favorites to be able to blitz out of. As you can see right here, we're going to be able to play kind of a cover three, bend but don't break pressure defense. And this is almost always going to come in completely free right through the A-gap, as you can see. This is one of the most difficult blitzes to be able to consistently pick up in the game. And then there's also other versions of it in which we can actually just send the linebacker off of the edge as well as the slot corner. And this is going to give us a little bit of a different, um, a little bit of a different pressure variation here. But there is some advantages to this setup as well because we can do some different coverages that we might not normally do. For example, we might be able to do a, a defense that looks kind of something like this. So what this does a really good job of is we're going to get good pressure, quick hot pressure off the slot corner, and we're also going to have pretty decent coverage in behind it. By far, one of my favorite ways to run this defense is to make sure that I'm making, I'm making the opponent have to work, and I'm taking away both flats in this defense as well as um, I'm taking away, you know, kind of some quick throws. So you see here, we're going to be able to roll the coverage over the top of the solo receiver. With that cloud, it's going to get a nice reroute, and we're going to get that nice clean pressure up the A-gap. If you guys want to get my entire nickel 3-3 defensive ebook, I want you to go ahead and go sign up for our school.com community page. It's the best place to get better at college football. It's also the best place to get better at Madden. If you want to get access to all of the content, we're going to be dropping over there. It's only $10 to become a member of the site, and it gets you access to both college and football and Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. To sign up for that, head down to the description and click the link down below.